Okay, well, continuing with the Bodnik slick stick um, cold weather testing, this bow has been sitting out in the cold since December 22nd. Uh, it's January 1st today, so, I don't know, nine days, give or take, depending upon the actual time I put it out, which I don't remember. Probably should have written that down. Um, it's not that cold out. My nose is running, but there's a very slight breeze, and the humidity is about 80%, so that's actually what makes it feel cold, even though it's not actually cold, because it's only about minus 7 degrees Celsius, which isn't bad. But the bow hasn't been taken inside, so it's been sitting outside. Now I've shot it twice. This will be the third test, and I'm not expecting any differences. I'm really not. I don't stress it all that much simply because I don't pull that far. So I'm not worried about that part. Looks like the wind is coming from the south today. Oh, there we go. That one hit the fork. I'm not going to say that would have taken a bird, because it doesn't always, but it might have. I don't know if this is going to have enough power to take a bird. Oh, there we go. Hit the fork again. Aside from the jacket being annoying, I don't know if that would have taken a bird. Not either. Didn't hit a pin, that's for sure. Didn't make that distinctive sound. There we go. Now, this is actually my second take. I had a city worker who decided he needed to tell me where my arrows were landing. Got a quad out. An arrow there. Yeah. Action. I'd forgotten about one going behind me. It hit the fork earlier. This will be my second set of 10. Ooh, bad. Ooh, <laughs> bad. Oh, well. Still flew. I like the way it flies. This jacket is not being very cooperative with this particular situation. Not surprised, the arms are quite baggy. And to be fair, it's probably too large for me and I like large clothing. I'm not a big person. Gloves are meh, awkward, as to be expected. There we go. So, second set of 10, so that's 20 shots today. Flu flu arrows with rubber blunts that bounce quite nicely. Uh, and they're very colorful. The flu flu slowed down. I'm only pulling about, I don't know, 26, 27 inches. Uh, so on my fingers, that would be, with this bow, would be about 40 pounds. So it's not going very far, not going very fast. The purpose of this is just to test it. I'm not stressing it that much because it's rated to go to 28 or probably further. I have no idea. Um, but it's still fine. I'm going to do this again, probably in a week, maybe two weeks. I don't know, depending on how busy I am. I'm being a lazy bum right now because it's January 1st and well, the world can go to bye-bye for a while because I'm taking today off for fun. Um, I like the Bonnick Slick Stick. Uh, I don't think I would subject other bows to what I'm doing simply because I don't know if they would be as tough. I'm confident the majority of the bows I own would be perfectly fine in this circumstance. Uh, but I know that Bodnick has this reputation for being incredibly tough. And I would not disagree um, at all. So if Bodnick's looking out there and you continue, you watch, I will be continuing to test this and then into the summer I will probably continue to test this using heat 
though I don't think I will leave it in a vehicle. That would be pushing luck because that's like a greenhouse and holy crap it gets hot in cars in this, in this part of the world during the summertime, not in the winter. Uh, but it will stay in shelter space but not heated. So it's being, it's being subjected to the ambient temperatures and the relative humidity of the day. Today being minus 7, 80% uh, humidity, and I think it's like a 13 kilometer hour wind or whatever it is. Uh, I was expecting a cold snap, which we haven't had. I thought we were going to be like minus 20, minus 25 degrees Celsius. Yeah, no, it's minus 7, which by the way is above normal. Normal for this time of year is minus 12, minus 14. <laughs> oh well. Keep having fun, guys.